僕たちは絶対にサラちゃんを救い出すんだ Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zemmonix channel. Today we're building the Build Ivers Dragon Blast Master. And I meant to build this in December, and but I ran out of time. I don't have time to build it, shoot it, and、uh, trim it, and then upload it. I meant to, you know,、uh, build this in December, but it ended up I don't have time to do that. So here I am to. We do it again. So, people will probably say, Oh, that is so old already. It's a couple months ago. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. So, let's look at the side. We got some、uh, introduction as well. Full blast mode actions. So, I can tell this is a mixture of every universal weapon. So, we got、uh, the satellite cannon. We got a、uh, chest cannon like the、uh, Strike Freedom. And then we got、uh, a couple other cannons that. Which later I will probably know that. And then you flip it to the side, we see a introduction.、Uh, got English as well. If you really want to look at, if you really want to look at it, just stop here and then you can take a moment to look at it because I'm definitely not going to read it. All right, let's just open it. So we got, we got five packages and a instruction manual. It's pretty thick though, the instruction manual. So it's from, it's from Jagan. And is a and we got a, a lot of strategy explanation. We got、uh, the full blast mode and we got a lot of description. Oh, this is actually a mixture of Gundam X uh, from the uh, and the G Self, the Strike Freedom, the GN cannons, the Zek. Uh, Sick Magnus Cannon. We got a Beam Sword, Beam Torso, a High Mega Cannon from Double Santa. Oh my god, this is such a mixture. <laughs> and this is an introduction. If you really want to read it, just stop here and take a moment to read it. And、uh, okay, let's open it. We got a lot of guide and other ways to put it on other counters. Flip it open, just a couple. Just a couple of the instruction and look, let's look at it. So we got a lot of crosses on there. We got A, C, D crosses and other parts is all being used. All right, it's pretty good. You know, it took me a while to open up all the runner. I realized this is a lot of runners in here, so should be exciting when I was building this because I love a lot of parts. All of it's very annoying. So this is the C runner. Uh, is from the original Jagan's、uh, kit, and we got some legs part, arms part, torso, shoulder,、uh, head, and waist part, and some other kind of outside armor, such as waist armor as well. And we got a lot of hand option, and we got a beam saber as well. So,、mm, I assume there's gonna be a lot of level of part for you to play with. A runner, same、uh, from the Jagan. Original Jagan, and we got the feet thrusters,、uh, probably some waist part, and the camera, the gun, and shield, and missiles. <laughs> Clear piece for the chest. That's the N1 runner, a brand new torso, a the torso, the torso cannon,、uh, the satellite cannon connector, and. Some other part that I'm not sure. Oh, this is probably the backpack. We got a L1 runner. This is the、uh, torso and feet, shoulder, head, and torso again. Yeah. L2 runner, probably the same like the previous runner.、Uh, shoulder, feet part. Yeah. Uh, the M1 runner. This is definitely the satellite cannon and the beam saber and the beam rifle that mentioned in the instruction manual. Two D runners from the Jagan.、Uh, this is the joint of the legs,、uh, probably some part of the feet and arms as well. M2 runner, satellite cannon again. No need to walk. No need to look again. This this is the N2 runner. Uh, I think it's for the GN cannon on the feet, and probably some other joints. Well, not really sure.、Uh, we have a huge sticker, and I assume 
let me just do a prediction. This is for the this is for the head. I assume this is for the head. This is ca uh, head cameras. This is the satellite cannons. We got two potty caps. We got a normal potty cap and a uh, seven piece potty cap as well. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you in a review. Hey and welcome back to the review of the uh, Jenga Blast Master and this is the finishing of it and I just need to say though uh, there's pros and cons uh, for this gunplug because mainly first you know as usual Bandai mixed with new and old mold and which caused a very very much problem not saying that it was very influencing the whole gunplug but it just kind of annoying so you know i'll get into that detail once i get into it so as you can see it's similar to the uh gym free beam master that i built before is similar color but this time they added a bit of red and they added two gigantic 
uh, satellite cannons and then they basically remolded to the whole MS2 uh, long range duels. Not like the Gym 3 B Master, because Gym 3 B Master, uh, in my opinion, is mid range, but this one is completely firearms. And if you look close to the shoulder, does it remind you of something? It does remind me of the Gundam Vulge from uh, Gundam Double because for some reason it looks very similar to me uh, for the shoulders and the overall feeling because first they both are very heavy second they both are firepower maximum uh, MSUs and the head looks pretty pretty similar as well it's very big as well yeah okay so we're gonna get into the articulation then we're gonna talk about the new parts and the accessory first I need to say I have no I have no idea why, man, I have to make this head that tight. So this head is actually movable though, but it's very hard to twist it. It's maximum about 30 or, or 30, okay, it can lift up, lift down, but it's very hard to turn around. As you can see, I'm using a lot of force to just to try to turn it uh, over 30 degrees. So overall, the head is not really movable uh, and it's very tight as well. So. Uh, the good thing is you don't have to worry about popping out but the bad thing is if you want to turn the head around it's gonna be very difficult so depends on you if you some people might like this kind of design but I don't and also uh, the head camera here and the mega cannon here both of them is by stickers but the stickers this time looks pretty good it's not really you know uh, scrap it together anything and the overall is just uh, the dragon head inside here and then outside is all brand new and now let's talk about the chest the chest here we can clearly see it it got some details on the clear piece here and then we got a silver sticker under the clear piece it's a very good thing though you can actually see the reflection of the silver color so i really like that idea and then here we got the part of the Strike Freedom Gundam, I believe. This is the torso cannon. Or s I don't really remember what's that called. And two, two uh, orange color here is stickers again, but uh, it's fine as long as it fits and it don't pop out. I'm completely fine with it. The connection between the waist and the chest is a ball joint, which means every time we got a ball joint, which means it's extremely easy to pop out. So please be careful when you're messing around. With uh, overall, the chest is pretty much brand new, but just a couple parts uses the old mold, so I'm fine with it. Alright, now let's talk about arms. The arms, for some reason, my model is extremely tight. I don't know about you guys, but mine is extremely tight. So first, the new part here, uh, the side of this shoulder can move up, uh, move up nearly 90. This is the piece about where they just improve it and put it as like a satellite. The satellite cannon charger something i don't really remember the arm is able to lift up 90 but the parts here is extremely tight i have to move it very careful because last time when i built the banshee i tried to move it like that and i ended up broke the whole arm so now i have so uh, now i have i'm kind of scared so because it uses the old model the arm's not really gonna bend over 90 degrees the whole arm is uh, able to do horizontal rotation uh, same as the other arm here. We don't have another option to hand, by the way. And the whole arm is able to rotate 360. Not really, though, because during the satellite cannon is blocking in the back, so you're not really able to move it 360 unless you remove the backpack, which is going to be a lot of work. And the new P, the, uh, overall, the arms is using the alt mode, it's just the shoulders are using the new parts. And now let's up to the waist. The waist, uh, really good color separation though. Uh, the black part of the waist here is actually, I uh, used the color matter to color reveal it because they didn't give you the color separation, but it's fine. Uh, the side skirt, okay, so let's take a look. Side skirt here is uh, very good. It could live with any ID and then you can move around whatever you want because it's a pony cap anyway. So yeah, you can move it anywhere. Whole front skirt, lift up, um, lift up about one, 130 yeah 130 and then the back of the waist is able to move as well so you can move the cannons as well you see the cannons as well we turn it to the back we see three a giant thruster and two small thrusters uh, you need to do some color 
review in the thrusters, but that depends on you. I don't have that pain, so you can have fun to doing it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> and turn it around, let's go to the legs. The legs here, I don't know why. My my model's legs is extremely tight. I don't really know why. Uh, so it, it able to bend, you know, as I said, it uses the all mode, so maximum, you can bend it like this. Uh, the the feet down here is a is a uh, triple instruction, so you can move it. This is the GN cannon at the bottom of the feet. They did they view the detail. You don't need to repaint it. Thank God. And the feet is able to move side to side for a very small angle. Move front and back, so you can kick front and back as well. Uh, the whole legs is able to kick to the front over 90 kick to the back not really because as i said this is a very old mode so I'm not expecting to do that uh, kick to the side kick to the side maximum 45 degrees so you don't really need to expect there's going to be any uh, very impressive articulation because first this is using the almost joint so which means there's no way you can have any kind of very surprising articulation. Now let's turn around and introducing the backpack. The backpack is a very awesome part of the kit. First, they did give you some color separation. I'm, a, I'm very glad they did they not just give you like brand, just completely bold white and then let you repaint it first. That's some credit for you because I've seen that in Premium Man a lot. And overall, the backpack got two uh got one two three three joints here so you can move to adjust the angle whatever you want you can flip it to the front or you can just keep it as a uh, waiting mode like this uh the side of the the side of the uh, satellite reflector you call it reflector uh is able to it's a ball joint so you can move to adjust to the precision you want and it also got a got a ability to open it up so you can see uh the reflectors uh, inside there is stickers so by the way this stickers is very easy to scratch so if you scratch it you got marks on it uh, let me show you i already got a mark here if if you can see it i already got a mark here if you look carefully uh, because i was posing it uh, to take some photos and i accidentally scratch it and there you go leave some mark on the stickers not good and next we are just I'm just gonna lay down so the sound like and is able to pull it out and flip it back there's a handle down here you can flip it out and then let the ms hold it so it's a very it's a very good uh sound like cannons you know even the double x or the gun of x don't have this kind of very good um design yeah but this is from the gun of x so i'm not sure but we, we do have the beam saber down here. You can pull it out. It's pretty tight. So you can pull it out, but they didn't give you any evac power. So basically you're holding on a hand with nothing. I just have to say that. So a bit of disappointment though. Wish they would give us the beam saber evac power for us to mess around with, but they didn't. So, well, this is Bandai. You're not gonna expect too much, right? Up next is all you are waiting for, the full blaster mode. So first, you need to flip the uh, waist at the front, side skirt to the front. So you can just quickly adjust that. And then you move two legs out. Ooh. You make, you move both legs out. And then you flipped because the feet, they do have give you a double joint there. So you can flip it, flip it out like this. So as you can see, the whole, the downside, the down, like the, lower body and the upper body position is already positioned and now the most annoying part is to move the satellite cannon so satellite cannons though it's just very simple you just need to flip around you just need to flip around and then adjust it back to the uh, very cor uh, the correct position just move to the front remember you need to turn around the the reflector at the backpack and then you open it like this and then now you just need to get your hands to hold on it. It's very hard to hold on it because during to the limited articulation from the all mode because the joint is pretty bad. So uh, just give me a moment. I will come back when I successfully put it on. Right, so this is the full blaster mode. As you can see, uh, I am just too lazy to put on the other side as well because I feel like it's, it took a lot of work because during to the limited articulation and I can't, 
is it's very very annoying to put on both sides so i choose to put on one side but you get the picture anyway so this is the full blaster mode and i did forget to mention a accessory so we got the original jig and beam rifle with a trigger hand on it but you don't really need that because since it's not really in the ms design and i think there's enough I think there's enough cannons on, on the gunplay for you to mess around. So you don't really need that, right? <laughs> anyway, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more gunplay reviews. Uh, my rate for this gunplay is very good. Uh, it's pretty creative, but limited articulation kind of hurts. And I don't know why. Bandai's almost is either too tight or too sloppy. I don't really know why. Why can't you just do it at the middle? Why can't you just do it like kind of balancing balancing the the tight or sloppy problem? But this time, this gunplay is just give me a feeling of tight. It's very hard to bend the joints. It's almost look like the Banshee norm that I built before that I accidentally broke an arm. So I'm really afraid now. <laughs> I, I just... Maybe I'll just put it in the shelf and just leave it there because I'm afraid if I twist the joints, it's going to be broken again. So, yeah. But just be careful when you're moving the shoulder armor, as I mentioned. Right, so uh, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.